So here we are inside of an ICF building that we are constructing and uh, we decided to do blow-in cellulose for the attic. As you can see we have 24 inch on center trusses and so we had to um, do some baffles so when we blow in the cellulose it won't you know, block the soffit vents. So I'm going to climb up and show you how we did that because these walls are 9 inches thick so we're using a 2x10 top plate. And so the idea here is we're using a vapor barrier, a leftover vapor barrier that we had, to uh, cut into 26 by 48 inch pieces. And then we're tacking it down with some staples to the top plate, which goes out about, like I said, about nine inches. And then we're wrapping it up, bringing it up, as the air gap, which you might be able to see down there. Anyhow, what we're doing is we're, we're stapling it in one corner, getting it laid out, stapling it all along one side, and then we come to the other side and pull it tight and staple it on the other side, keeping that one inch, one inch to two inch gap. So when I blow in the cellulose, it can impact against this, and it's only going to come up 12 inches because we are in the south, so it'll be an R40 blowing cellulose attic. So, yeah, this is a, this is a cheap way to do it. Um, it's not super time consuming uh, to install, but it's probably more difficult to install than the typical egg carton style baffles. Um, but this works for this system and it was basically free because we already had the extra um, vapor barrier to use. So um, another thing to note is we used the vapor barrier on the corner of the trusses first to block that hole so that when cellulose is blown in on this side it's not going to go through the back side of our baffle and block up the soffit. So we just cut a bunch of triangles and used all the same template to uh, block up those holes. So yeah, and that provides a lot of airflow going up and uh, it gives us all the insulation we need in this cavity. So just wanted to show you what we did. Oh, and another thing to point out is because of air coming in and out, uh, and since this is not permeable or not super permeable, I mean it still is because it's a vapor barrier, um, that means that moisture from the air won't be making direct contact with the insulation just like with the other ones. So, yeah.